This is the 50-50 show. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do uh, choose IB subjects. Uh, we're actually the second cohort to start this IB diploma. The first batch of students uh, last year actually fared pretty well in IB. Um, most of them passed. Uh, in fact, most of them got between 30 to 34, and that's around 35% of the students. Uh, around, we actually had 13 students that got between 40 to 45. That's, a, that's actually a huge achievement, considering the fact that only around 4% of the world uh, who does IB got 40 to 45. Uh, so our school is actually above average in terms of ESF and in terms of SIS with a pass rate of 90% uh, 90 which is a total of 131 students. Uh, but in total we only had uh, 5 students that were below 24 points and the rest who failed, failed because of lack of CAS. So work on your CAS and you'll be fine. Okay, so let's say you are getting five A's or in fact straight A stars. You're not looking for anything better than that in IB. In IB, it doesn't matter what you get in GCSE, it takes completely different uh, effort and different time management. In, G in GCSE, yes, it does require revision. But in IB, we're talking about revision every single day and after school, after class. So no, just because you have uh, straight A's now, straight A now, doesn't mean you get uh, all sixes or all sevens in IB. In fact, um, I have some friends who got a lot better grades than me in GCSE, but now they're struggling to get better grades than me in IB. If you only have two A's in GCSE, it does not necessarily mean that you will not do well in IB. IB is all about determination. So with time management, organization, and hard work, you will achieve the best grades you possibly can. Just remember, with determination, you can get the grades you want. In GCC, it's called coursework, and in IB, it's called the internal assessment. And both GCC coursework and IB internal assessment work in similar ways. They take up a percentage of your grade and I take psychology higher and the internal assessment component of the IB psychology accounts for 20% of your overall psychology grade. The internal assessment is a write-up of a psychology experiment which will be replicated from a previous study. You will do fine as long as you hand in your drafts and then improve it. an essential part of the IB Diploma, whereby a variety of activities from areas like creativity, action, and service are needed. Year 12 and 13 students, as part of their IB Diploma, are expected to complete a minimum of 150 hours of CAS. There also needs to be a CAS project, where students plan an activity from scratch that lasts for an extended period of time. Activities like joining a sports team, volunteering at an elderly home, or joining the Model United Nations can be counted as CAS activities. Theory of Knowledge is an interdisciplinary course that challenges students to question the acquisition and nature of knowledge in each of the six subject areas. The course brings together these multiple disciplines through discussions and essays and presentations. As a result, students come to understand that there are no boundaries between subject areas and that all knowledge is integrated. The extended essay will probably be the longest essay you have done before your process journey in university. It is a 4,000 word essay. But don't freak out. <laughs> it is done during your time in IB, where you will have a supervisor to guide through your essay. Just make sure that it is done periodically throughout the first year, and make sure it is finished over the summer. 
It is a great preparation for universities, as you will be frequently getting long essays.